product standard BSEN 15650 for fire dampers. By having a product standard, this requires the need for CE marking. CE marking for fire and smoke dampers will be adopted into UK law in July 2013. CE marking is not just a stamp, but requires us to have tests and records that will be kept and audited and reviewed by trading standards. The European Damper Test Standard, BSEN 1366, was adopted in 1999, however has taken many years for the industry to adopt this into its building regulations. This first appeared in approved document B, December 2006, where 1366 has been recognised for fire and smoke damper testing. The details for approved document B can be found on the government website. This clearly states that for new projects submitted after April 2007, that these will be to the new building regulations December 2006. Any project submitted before April 2007 can be to the regulations that were in force dated 2000. This therefore clearly indicates that after April 2007, all fire and smoke dampers need to comply to the European Regulation 1366. As with any testing, it is important to have a pass-fail criteria. Damper testing pass-fail criteria is within BSEN 13501 and will be discussed later. The extended field of application is currently a draft document and will be voted on within Europe in a short while. When this is complete, the extended field of application will give us guidance on what we can change within our dampers and our installation methods without having to retest. This will cover materials of construction, thicknesses and types of damper installations. The European classification for fire dampers is Integrity E. This is measured by leakage during the fire test and is usually referred to for fire dampers of the curtain damper variety. Insulation is referred to as the letter I. This is not called for in the building regulations of the UK, but is commonly used in mainland Europe. And for the first time, we have a leakage S criteria. This is where the leakage is measured through the damper during the duration of the test. We also have to test the smallest damper we wish to take to market to ensure that this also has a leakage S criteria. This picture shows a damper being tested to the old standard BS476. As you can see, it's a horizontal test. The damper is fitted onto the furnace face and is in the closed position. When is the manufacturer's rear ready to have the test started? we will ask the test house to start the furnace. The test can be for a duration of two or four hours and the pass-fail criteria with the old test was purely as long as there was no flaming on the unexposed side of the damper and as long as there was no six mil gap between the damper and the structure of the wall. Then this was considered to be a pass. It was exactly the same test for either a curtain damper or a fire smoke damper and therefore the old test had no specific criteria for smoke regulation. This is the layout for the BSEN 1366 fire test. The damper is installed in the furnace wall and a plenum is attached to the face of the damper. Pipe work then comes from the plenum to a fan and the air is measured through the orifice plate. The damper, before the start of the test, is subjected to 50 cycles, open and closed. At the start of the test, the damper will be in the open position and has to fire by its operating mechanism. The pressure differential from the inside to the outside of the furnace is maintained at 300 pascals for the duration of the test. Although 300 pascals does not sound much for the HVAC system, during the test, the damper will get to 1100 degrees C and still will have 
lost 80% of its strength at that point and therefore 300 pascals becomes quite substantial. It is the leakage through the damper that gives us the rating of an E or an ES classification for the dampers and therefore a damper is recognised as being an E for 120 or an ES for 120 and we can also have a damper that may be E for 240 and an S for 120. The test layout is shown in this picture. This is from a recent test in a drywall partition and clearly shows the plenum, the pipework and the furnace.